Hi, it's Dominic, German AI creator, and if you are into AI agents, AI influencers, and the latest in AI, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. In today's video, I want to present you a simple but powerful N8N workflow that posts for you on LinkedIn about topics that fit your niche without you having to lift a single finger. The workflow researches new interesting topics, makes sure you haven't already posted about that the days before, creates a post including a matching image, and then post it completely autonomously on your LinkedIn account. The best, the entire automation costs you almost nothing and you can easily integrate other social media platforms as well. So if you are looking for ways to automate your posts on LinkedIn and other platforms, this workflow is something you don't want to miss. As always, the workflow will be available as download in my free AI course. So if you just want to import the workflow, make sure to subscribe there as well. With that being said, let's jump in and let's check out the auto LinkedIn poster. Good, let's begin by checking out my personal LinkedIn account. Here we can see the post that the workflow created in the last several days. It's always a nice matching image and then we have a suitable text prompt. For example, here the workflow posted about cybersecurity and what role AI plays in that. Then it talked here about AI memory. And down here, it talked about the healthcare sector. And the best part is that people are really engaging with these posts. For example, here we see I got two comments and also quite a lot of impressions, at least for my terms. I never posted before on LinkedIn. So this is just an extra plus for myself and for my reach. And I could imagine that if you already have quite a big audience on LinkedIn, that such a workflow would be even more powerful to so keep that in mind. All right, that's it regarding the posts. And now we go over to N8N and we check out the workflow. I use N8N via repo cloud. It's cheap, it's fast, it's easy. But of course, you could also use the N8N cloud or you could run it local on your computer. So here it already is the entire workflow. And as you can see, everything starts with a schedule trigger that I set up to fire every second day. Why that? Very simple. I never posted on LinkedIn before and I don't want to spam my audience. But if you want to post several times a day, you could easily do that by just adjusting the trigger. And in a minute, I will fire up the workflow that you can see how everything works. But first, I want to give you a little bit context what is happening when. Everything starts with two HTTP requests to Publexity. Publexity is a tool that is specialized in research. And I just set up these HTTP requests to research the topics that are interesting to the niche I post about. And these are AI topics in general and also AI related problems. So when we go inside this HTTP request, for example, the first one, we see down here that I instructed Publexity to give me five different general AI stories that are interesting to a broad audience, exactly what you need for social media. So when you want to use that workflow for yourself, just make sure to adjust this topic to your personal needs. In the second one, I do the same, but there I instructed the HTTP request to research AI related problems. Then I set up some code elements that just pull out the content and nothing else. I don't want the metadata and nothing. I just want the content and this is happening here. Then I merge everything together. And in that code snippet, I use JavaScript to put out everything together combined as JSON file. Then the JSON file gets provided an AI agent and the AI agent will first look at a Google sheet that contains the post it already created in the past to avoid repetition. And then it looks at the research provided and creates a new post. On top of the post, it also creates a matching image prompt so that I can create a image that perfectly matches that post. Afterwards, I use another OpenAI step, basically ChatGPT, to separate the text post and the image prompt and to store everything in the same Google Sheet that we used before to avoid repetition. I used to also include that step here in the AI agent, but somehow this was too much for the agent and it always skipped the storing part. Because of that, I just separated it in two different steps. When this is done, I reach out via HTTP request to replicate and we create the image that is matching the LinkedIn post. Then we download the image and everything gets posted at LinkedIn. Good, that's it regarding 
the general overview and now we execute the workflow that you see that thing in action. So we click here, execute workflow, and then you see that it starts right away with the first research. So now we research general AI topics. When this is done, it jumps to the second HTTP request and now it researches AI related problems. Then everything gets combined and stored as a nice JSON file. It gets provided to the agent. The agent looks at the post it already created in the past. Then it creates a new post and also a matching image prompt. Then it jumps over to the next one, that element. And here it basically just separates the content. So the text post and the image prompt then it also stores it in the same Google Sheet. And when this is done, it jumps over to the HTTP request where we basically create the image at replicate. Then we download the image in the next step. And then in the end, we post everything at LinkedIn. And when I go now to my LinkedIn account, we should have a new post. So I scroll up here, we click refresh and where is it? Here is our new post. This time it posted about Amazon's agentic AI, something very new and interesting. We have a nice suitable image and also a nice interesting text post. So everything worked great and I'm very happy with the result. And when we go now back to the workflow, there are some things that I want to show you because they are interesting and important when you want to customize that workflow for yourself. I already told you that you have to adjust the topics in these HTTP requests so that the agent researches topics that are matching your personal brand. Then you could also include more of these elements down here to research, for example, three, four or five different topics. But I think especially for a simple agent like that, one or two topics are more than enough. Here in the AI agent, I worked with a so-called system prompt. I can make this a little bit bigger so that you see what is actually happening here. I gave it the role for a social media expert specialized in posting on LinkedIn. Then there is the task to first look at the Google Sheet to avoid repetition and then to create a new LinkedIn post based on the research provided. And I also gave a little description how I want the output and also a list which tool the AI agent has available. The next step was also pretty straightforward. Here I basically just instructed the agent to separate this big output into two different outputs, the LinkedIn post and the image prompt and it should put it out as JSON. And when we look here at the output, we see that this also worked great. Because when we put it out like that, we can easier access these values separately in the following steps. And this is also what I did. Because when we go now to the HTTP request that I used to create the image and we go down here to the body that I send over to replicate, we see that I could just provide the prompt that the agent created earlier by pulling that thing in. Okay, so I don't do it again, but this is why I separated the two values. Then here in the second last step, we just downloaded the image, you see it here again. So this also worked great and I had to do nothing here, but providing basically the output of the step before. And the last element is of course, one of the most important ones, the LinkedIn connection that allows us to auto post and LinkedIn. As I use N8N via repo cloud, I have to work a little bit different than when you just use the N8N cloud. Because when you have the N8N cloud, there's already a built in LinkedIn connection and you can just log in with your LinkedIn account and you're good to go. But if you use it via repo cloud or your self host N8N, your credential works with the client ID and the client secret. And now I want to show you where you find these parameters, because otherwise you can't connect your LinkedIn account to your N8N workflow. So what you need to do is the following. You go to the website linkedin.com slash developers slash apps and there you can and have to create a so-called app so that you are able to auto post on LinkedIn. 
And here are basically just two things of importance. When you go to products, you have to make sure to include these two things, share on LinkedIn and sign in with LinkedIn using OpenID Connect. So this is what you need to add to that app to be able to post. And when you go to off, there you get the client ID and also the client secret, exactly what you need to log in at N8N with your LinkedIn account, okay? And then there's just one more thing that is very important. Down here at authorized redirect URLs for your app, you have to add exactly the app you see up here. Here at N8N, they tell you exactly the OAuth redirect URL. And this URL is basically what you have to add down here so that you can connect your LinkedIn account to your N8N workflow. It looks a little bit confusing, but you will see when you did it once, it's actually pretty simple. And as you just saw, it works great. If you have any questions regarding that, just reach out to me and I'm happy to help you. All right, that's it regarding the workflow. As I told you in the very beginning, if you just want that workflow as download so that you can import it to your N8N, subscribe to my free AI course. There I will include the entire workflow as JSON, then you can just import it to your N8N. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got a lot of value out of it. If so, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you think about that workflow and if you already tested it out. I hope we see each other in the next video. Take care and goodbye.